start with Thomas from Piano and he's going to tell us all the story regarding Bio Sound. Bio Sound. Yes, so the uh, sound by itself, Bio Sound Theatre here, you can mount it on the wall, you can put it on the table, and then you can have a screen above it. But we can also put another screen to it and turn it into a, a Spang and Ocean solution. Let me show you here. We can have it dot the screen using a screen interface onto a wall bracket. Or we can have a table stand we have over here. Or we have the motorized floor stand. To show you how the coupling is done, if we look behind. The motorized wall bracket is mounted here and we have this bar going out. What we do is we take the uh, theater and dock it onto the motorized wall bracket. And then we take the screen interface, which we have here, and we dock that directly into the theater. So now the wall bracket is holding the theater, the theater is holding the, the interface, and then we hang a screen on it. That could be any screen, it could be a Samsung or any other brand. But if you use the LG, then the advantages that we can control the LG TV using our Bionosis remote control. And then the same goes for the, uh, the uh, manual uh, 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 table stands. And then we have the motorized uh, floor stand over here. What you can do, you can pull it using by hand, or you can use your remote control to, to, um, to move the, the, the floor stands. So, for example, if I switch off the TV here, we will go back to the system. So when I switch it on, I switch it off again, it will automatically just move in to its uh, standby position. Again, when I switch it on, I can move out to that position I programmed it to move to, so you have your preferred viewing position. Show me what the speaker has inside. Oh, got it amplifier, gonna have a look over drivers. here. So the, uh, the amplifier itself, or the theater itself, is built up like a modular system. So we got 12 drivers inside, 11 channels, and we also got the, the uh, up-firing speakers as well. So we have a true Dolby Atmos experience from the sound bar uh, itself. The different modules we have over here works like a modular system where we can exchange them. So if you want to upgrade assembly amplifiers, you can easily take the amplifiers out and upgrade to a newer version or different version. And we can do the same with our a main processor, which is based on a, a platform we call POSA. So if you have a newer version of that, new streaming technologies, you can simply exchange that and upgrade that. The front of it, you can choose to have our nice wooden front, and also different colors, a different uh, source of wood. Or you can have a fabric like we have over there on that TV, and also in, in different colors. On the top of it up here, we have a panel where we can control it. Maybe I can show that over here instead. So as soon as I move close to the theater, it will light up. It will actually notice that I'm here, and you have all the buttons up here. I got four favorite buttons, and that could be, if I press one of them, that could be, for example, my favorite radio station. It could be Deezer, or it could be Spotify. And then I got the volume control here as well. Play and pause and forward and back. So I have this direct control besides the control I got from the remote control. To which speaker would you compare it in terms of the sound pressure level? So the sound pressure level is equivalent to our Fairlap 28 speakers. So we have very, very big amplifier, very, very big bass performance. So how much power will it have compared to previous TV, like the clips or things like this? Anyway, this one will definitely have more power. It will get more, uh, more, ba more bass in it. And it will have definitely more clarity from the speech, uh, thanks to the uh, 12 drivers in there. Would you just put a pair of surround speaker on the theater and you're done? Uh, that's, that's the uh, modularity possibilities you have with this. You can have the theater as it is on its own and have the uh, Dolby Atmos sound experience. But we can then add all the speakers to it. We've got Powerlink, we've got Visor. 
so we can we can actually add additional 16 speakers to it and then create a full surround sound. How wires. many wireless? Eight wireless and eight wires. So in total, we can come up to 27 channels. So what sort of uh, video processors or audio processor has the theater inside? So the the, uh, the video processor, the audio processor we got inside is got that Dolby Atmos in. So we read all the channels coming in from Dolby Atmos, including the height channels. And the output is our own processor, which we are called a true image. And that uh, gives us this possibility of connecting up to 27 channels. How deep it goes in regarding the base? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you experience it, right? You yeah, you really can feel, feel it. it. You can feel it, it vibrate, that's for sure. So, so. You, you could say you might not be missing a subwoofer in most scenarios? Yeah, no. Not for, for the theater itself, it's it's quite powerful for sure. But if you have a complete cinema room and you want to have more bass, all you need to do is just add additional bang and ocean speakers. For example, build up to 50, it could also be a build up to 28, or build up 90, and then you will have even more bass performance. So if, if you install it with a projector screen, yeah, then you can have just a wall mounted for that's bass. correct. Yeah, so the theater so itself is, has two brackets included. So that is a wall, wall mount. And then there's also a small paper stand if you have the screen mounted on the wall and you have a desk for the, uh, the theater in front. So in here we have, in here we got the same concept, we got the same floor stand, but the screen now, instead of the 65 inch screen you had outside, is the 77. And what we have done is we have actually just extended the wings at the side so it fits the screen that is mounted on it. The uh, theater itself is exactly the same size uh, as uh, no matter what screen size you have. So if you have a 55 inch screen connected, the uh, side wings, as we call them, are shorter. And then longer at 65 and the longest is 77. So the biggest we can go up for a motorized uh, floor stand is 77 inch screen. Thank you so much, Thomas. Welcome. It has been wonderful talking to you. And we are very inspired by this new product. Great. Thank you for coming. And say some words in Danish too. Oh, tusen tak fordi I kom. For se det er det er altid en en glæde at besøge. Thank you.